Welcome to a special edition of Maximilian Must Know. I'm really excited to do this. Um, if you saw my video that was posted on uh, Sunday morning, you know that uh, I did a review of, um, of uh, Check and Speaks Oxford and Cambridge. And I said that I was going to do a starting lineup at the end of the spring or summer. Well, I've decided to sort of reverse that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to do a starting lineup for the beginning of spring and then I'll do one at the beginning of the summer and I'll do one four times a year I'll also you know if this ball keeps rolling the way it is do a collection video once a year once for my shaving stuff once for my fragrance collection so this is gonna be the first uh, starting lineup I've ever done now for those of you who don't know what a starting lineup is it was started in the fragrance community um, and basically what you do is you tell people six different scents that you'll use your go-to scents for six different occasions or scenarios um, and you know people vary them sometimes people switch them up a lot sometimes people are consistent year after year that happens very rarely but basically that's what you do you give these six scents right this is my starting lineup this is who I'll go to war with if I had to be on a desert island these are the scents that I would probably take with me, right? So I figured uh, I would do it, for, you know, for the beginning of spring and, and to show you guys how I feel, what I feel. You can get a better sense of my taste. Um, the six situations we're talking about is your signature scent, right? The one that people know you by, you wear the most probably. Your work scent, right? What you normally wear to your office or wherever you work every day. Your night out scent, what you do when you, you know, want to hit the town and if you're single, try to pick up some chicks, right? And then uh, your romantic scent, right? So if you this night in the town is successful, you do your thing, what are you going to wear when uh, you go on a date with him or her? Or, you know, what might you splash on, right, when you get home before you take care of business, take care of B.I., you know what I'm saying? So that is, uh, that's the, that is the, um, the fourth one, is the romantic situation. Fifth one is what's your daring scent? You know, like, what are you not 100% comfortable with, but... You, you kind of want to reach for this when you feel bold and want to try something new. And then what's your high class set? Okay, what are you going to wear a black tie event or something when you really want to impress? You got a fresh suit on. You want to show people what you're all about. So let's start it out. Waste no more time. First off, my signature scent. I'm going with Vetiver Extraordinaire by uh, Dominique Ropion, Frederick Ma. Um, guys, this is the scent that sort of really uh, let me know that there was more to scents than simply what was at Sephora and the designer stuff. And I'm not knocking those at all, but this is the one that really opened up my eyes. At first, I was not happy with paying uh, 285 for this guy, I believe it was, but um, it was worth it, you know, I, and it took me not too long to figure out that it was worth it. I'm not a huge vetiver guy, but uh, this is just so raw and it has so much good vetiver in it that it's just a really, like, women think it's a really sexy scent, um, I just like it a lot. I think it's what I've been wearing the most of for the past three years is Vetiver Extraordinaire. Um, and again, the scent that got me into this game, you know, past the designer fragrances. I love this. Uh, it's my favorite, uh, you know, probably one of my, definitely one of my favorite scents of all time. And for now, it's my, it's my signature scent is Vetiver Extraordinaire by Dominic Ropion for, uh, Frederick Ma's Edition de Parfum. So that's my signature scent. Next up is my work scent. Uh, for my work scent, you know, you want something inoffensive and you want something that's going to make you smell crisp and clean and sort of just blend in and maybe people, if anything, will just uh, notice how nice you smell. Now, I'm one of these crazy people that does wear wacky shit to work, you know. I, I really don't care. Thankfully, I'm on my own side of the building with my crew and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm pretty much free to wear what I want to wear. But... On those days. But on other days when I know I have a big meeting coming up or, you know, meeting with my boss or something like that, I have to give a presentation. What I usually go with, guys, is Prada's Infusion Day on. Uh, I have a review of this in the works and I'm going to do it soon enough, hopefully, if I get time. But this is just a crisp, clean, uh, neroli, um, fresh, sort of ozonic scent that just exudes freshness and cleanliness. Clean cleanliness. And uh, almost like just a, a really crisp and airy scent, you know. And uh, 
it to me it's it's perfect for work. It really, really is. You sm it's barbershoppy, but it's better than barbershoppy. Prada really has done a good job at sort of marketing that clean side of the of the fragrance world. Even with their new one, Luna Rosa, which I smell today at Bloomingdale's, clean but beautiful. They make clean scents, and they're all sort of different, which is awesome. So I'm going to be a big time collector of Prada. Want to try to get some stuff from their private line. Um, I think they do a great job over there. I believe the woman's uh, name is Daniela Andre, and uh, they're just doing a great job. They really got into this game, and they're sticking around in the game. They weren't, they're not there just to visit. They're there to stay. So this is my work set, Prada Infusion Dale. Uh, my, I believe, night out scent is next, and that is, now I'm 34 years old. I don't drink anymore. Um, I quit drinking about six months ago, and I don't really go out that much at night i'm not gonna lie to you but sometimes you know you do sometimes i go out with my friends from work sometimes you know I'm, i might go out you know just quickly go out to dinner something like that I'm not clubbing though and when i'm doing that to me spice bomb by victor and roll you know this is sort of coming into that one million um angel men territory at this point and i kind of try to stay away from those just because i don't want to smell like everyone else but when i went to sephora and smelled this guy i couldn't stay away from it like i'm not gonna lie i think the bottle's cool i like how you pull the pin to uh to be able to spray it like it is a grenade it's got a really sort of nice cinnamon hot and spicy but then a cool down effect um it, it's just awesome there's not a lot like it you know you could sort of say it sort of smells like a million. It sort of smells like angel. But to me, it's different than all those. And it's better than those. Personally, I think so. Um, and I think that in, uh, you know, five, ten years, this is going to be looked at the way that um, that Angel Man and One Million is looked at. Uh, it's something I think I'll always want in my collection. So my night out scent is Spice Bomb by Victor and Roll. Okay, romantic scent, right? All right, so with that, this was kind of a difficult one for me to pick just because, you know, part of me thinks, you know, when you're trying to get a girl or whatever or, you know, guys trying to get a guy, whatever it may be. When I'm trying to get a girl, though, I want something that smells clean, but I also want something that's got a little bit of dirt to it, right? A little bit of something funky so you don't look like a complete clown. And I was kind of struggling with finding that, but then I watched a review by Katie Puckrick. If you've never seen her videos, they're awesome. I recommend you check them out right away. Um, I watched a video that she did on this set. And this is White Musk for Men by The Body Shop. I don't usually like Body Shop stuff. Personally, uh, I bought Arbor from them and I hated it. I don't know why I bought it. I think it's because the saleswoman was so hot. And I just couldn't say no. Literally, it was in um, one of those situations where you're like, oh, it's going to cost me money because she's really pretty. Um, and so it did. It cost me $30. I, Arbor cost me 28 I believe. And, uh, you know, I still have half the bottle left. I don't love it. But then I smelled this off Katie's uh, review, and I, I was in love. It's got a clean, it's barbershop clean with a little bit of vetiver, but then it does have that musk. It's a white musk, so it's really sort of restrained musk. Uh, it's got that dirtiness. It sort of lets a girl know, yeah, like, I could get down when we hop in the sack, but... I'm a clean guy, you know what I'm saying? I still like to keep things crisp, creed, crisp and clean. I'm safe. And for $30, that's an awful lot of accomplishment uh, for a fragrance to do. And uh, White Musk for Men does it for $30. I'm stunned too, guys. I wouldn't think so. But if you haven't checked this out, you definitely should. It is a great romantic scent. So that is my romantic scent. My daring scent, I did a video on this. I'm sure most of you saw. My daring scent is Serge Luton's Fianagui. Simply for the reason that the title of this is Girls and Pine Needles. So if that's not daring for a guy to wear a scent called Girls and Pine Needles, I really don't know what is. I like this a lot. Uh, you can see how much I've used. I got this a couple months ago. And for me to use that much in a couple months means that it's something special. And this is something special to me. There really is. But it's not something I could wear every day. Not something I would wear every day. It's something when I want a little bit of a rebellious streak in me, I guess to sort of go out there with something so resinous, so funky, so dark, um, so potent. Uh, you know, I reach for Serge Luton's feet on Agui. And as a side note, you know, I also will on occasion reach for Black Afghano. But uh, that, that's sort of, sort of becoming a little bit more mainstream, I feel like, um, than this particular Luton fragrance, which to me it seems like everyone's got Chirge. And uh, I have nothing against that. But again, I told you, I don't really like... Smelling like everyone else unless it's something that I'm in love with. And uh, I wasn't in love with Sergei, so I checked this one out. And I like it a lot. And this is my daring sensors with Thomas Fee and Agui. And then finally, 
what is your upper class then? Well, guys, when I want that real confidence, when I want that boost, when I want to feel special, when I want to feel like a million bucks, when I'm putting on, you know, my my, my, my Ralph Lauren purple label tailored suit, and I'm putting my uh, my Giorgio Armani uh, shirt with a spread collar and, and, and an Hermes or Ferragamo tie, and some you know hard bottom Italian shoes or English shoes by Church. There's usually one or two things I reach for. One of them is Creed's Green Irish Tweed, usually. Um, that's just one of the most amazing scents I've ever smelled. I had a decant of it forever. I finally went out and bought the four-ouncer review on that coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks because uh, that to me is crazy. But better than that to me, better than that to me, and I think the best thing I own right now, maybe with the exception of Vetiver, is this guy. I did a video on him, Geranium Porn Monsoor by Dominique Ropion again. From from addition to Puffle by Frederick Mall. He's got two Dominic Ropion in my starting lineup of six. That tells you how I feel about this guy. I was stupidly bought the uh, 50 milliliters of this guy for, I believe, 165, I want to say. And I should have bought the big dog because I'm definitely going to use this. Um, I've probably used about 20% of it. Um, and why is it? why do I feel that way about this? The beautiful, fresh, minty blast with the geranium you get out of this just screams confident. It says I'm confident enough to wear this, and it has a crisp cleanliness that uh, that sort of w allows you, or actually demands that people notice you and people smell you, and not in a bad way. You know that could be horrible, but this is in a great way. People are going to compliment you when you wear this. This is what you should be wearing when you dress up in the spring. Again, keep in mind, this is a list I'm doing for spring. Probably going to be a diff bunch of d different uh, scents during the beginning of summer, but this is, you know, these six are probably what's going to be my starting lineup in the spring and for those special moments I'm going with Ropion's Duranium Point Monsoor it's just so crack um, so that's it quick quick little video actually it was 12 minutes so it wasn't that quick but that is my starting lineup stay tuned for another review next Sunday and thank you guys for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers you guys are great I love your commenting I love your liking you can always email me at maxmno at gmail.com if you have a question or a comment and you know I, I, I love my subscribers man I'm trying to set stuff up for them right now hopefully discounts on wet shaving gear and a giveaway in the future uh, of a bottle or something like that so I'm working hard to keep bringing you new material and I'm working hard to get you guys stuff so it will it will be there at some point just just wait it out with me and, and tell your friends and your friends friends about Maximilian must know so this is my starting lineup I'll see you guys the, the, gang, next the montage the renaissance the rebirth the avant-garde show part the arm the cause the anarch still with the whip follow the brick I am Oz oh yes the wizardry fire to pot chemistry the coke call straight to they soul like a ministry like it or not we kick in the door we kick in the lock and still toss a big in the pot Cop the sorbet, straight from Jorge, jack of all trades, even mastered the gourmet.